y'all know it's Friday. It's finally Friday. Man. It's been a long one, to say the least. Well, that's the first time Michael's been back on camera in forever. Everybody and forgot what he looked at. Uh-oh. Yeah, our um, computer has did some stupid stuff, so I gotta try to fix it. Or I'm gonna have some mad customers. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. Luckily, the guy that noticed it is not that mad. So actually, he's not mad. So we're gonna fix it before it messes anybody up. It would be mad. There you go. I don't know if everybody heard that or not since he ain't got the mic on, but he's well, uh, having it over real quick. having computer problems. So. Huh. Well. That's this day's technology, though, right? Everything is purized. That's, a, that's amazing how a computer can crash the world, ain't it? Oh, yeah. And the key, if you're a kid, if you don't have a phone, the world has come to an end. Yeah, we, uh, ours, they have kid place. So they enjoy it. Fun stuff. Absolutely. But. Well, y'all got some new coast lights to start. We did. So those are the ones, if I'm not mistaken, they're... 1150 lumens okay and somebody has done open one so i don't know so it's kind of like the um similar to the wage, wage i'm yeah. just gonna throw it out there yes it is yeah. similar to the wage disregard my laundry list but it's called the slayer pro it's okay. nice it does have the one where you press it and the beam goes direct and also where it has like the floodlight Oh, so, so it's like a spotlight feature. Yeah, so that's easier to explain. So a lot of people describe stuff different. But it does have a heat warning. So if you do keep it on the hot, <laughs> the high beam, it will get hot. Okay. But I think it has a safety on there. Let me say that. It is really like the wedge. It like, is, it but it feels, is light. It's got a little more curve here, but. Yep. Huh. But. I'm not mistaken, we put them side by side and they were just a little bit like width difference, but not by enough, you know, to justify anything. So if you like coast, that's that version. If you like streamlight, you know, you have there the wedge. So it's a nice looking light. It is. And coast has been a really good light. So we haven't really had any of them come back. I like that little, the. I guess the shape of those lights a lot. I like how slim they are. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people, um, you have like the really big uh, streamlight. Uh, it's not the Stinger. Maybe it's the Strylon, something yeah. like that. But anyways, it's the one that has 650 to 700 lumens. But it's like yay long and it's heavy, you know, with the battery and all in it. But it is nice. They do have lifetime warranty on them. Those are thinner, so when you go to put them in your pocket, they also do have a clip, so you're yep. not hunting for it. The Streamlight Strawn does not have a clip on it. But well, nice. where's the pink stuff? I figured since it was October, it's be pink. So the pink stuff has semi sold out. It's kind of like all the distributors decided to order a lot. Mm -hmm. We have some that have a ton of the little pink toolboxes and some that didn't receive any. Great, wow. yeah. I, I think, Mako, this thing, what did you say that MDAC said that this year the pink sold better than any year in the past? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's just the designs of stuff that they had or what it was, but. Well, I have this computer issue fixed. If you want to do the video, you can, or I can take over. It's either one you want to do. Hey, it's up to you. Before he takes over, I'm going to show my speaker. Speaker. Yeah, I'll yeah, let him I show the other speakers. stuff. I love them. But this is Raycon. Raycon okay. and Mako are partnered, of course. Um, you've seen the bump box last week. Mm -hmm. That was like a cassette that, have you noticed, they're all gone. But the guy that bought one of them, he bought it for his daughter, uh, travel ball team. They had it, and he let it known that everybody up there was jealous of his bump box <laughs> because you can't get that design anywhere but Mako. Oh, that's cool. You can get the cassette design, but it does not look like Mako's. So this is the Raycon. Oh, it is magnetic, by the oh, way. That's why it I've caught. I've seen it. It was <laughs> quick. 
the ground too. You know? Yes. Strong magnet. It is. They call it an impact speaker. Okay. Um, it doesn't have any lights on it, of course, but I think. See, I'm not a. I don't have to have lights on my speaker. Well, that magnet well, stout. It it's is. It's going through that plastic. So. Holy it's, cow. Yeah. It's strong, but it also has that on the bottom. So when you do stick it on your toolbox, it's not going to scratch it as long as you clean the bottom That's off. That's what I was going to say. As long as there ain't no drill bit savings on it. Exactly. There. Because we have this light and it has the felt, but somebody left a staple on there and oh, no. stuck it to the side of the box. Yeah. But anyways, so this one has three different settings. You have your pure sound, your bass, and something else. I don't know what they called it, but it was, let me grab it. I like the size of it. Yes, so it is tiny. Oh, balance sound. Okay. It was something like that. But it is a lot less than what the bump box are, but the quality of sound is still there. It's not as loud as your big bump boxes, but I mean, it if it's just- It sounds good though. It does, yeah. I actually had it on this morning. Michael had to cut it down. Because I know there's some, there's some speakers that they're loud, but they sound like crap. Yeah, like, I like the time. mix of them where it's loud and it has bass to it. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, some songs don't have that, and yeah. some songs are strictly bass and no, mm -hmm. you know, no music at all. Not music, but like lyric-wise at all. Um, that one, it does have the bass sound on it. It does not beat the whole truck by no means, but if you hold it in your hand, you can definitely feel it. Or if you set it on the box, you can tell it. Okay. It sounds really good. The quality of sound on that one. I got it for its size and for its price is, okay. you know. Cool. Yeah. Can't beat that. <laughs> did you have these laying out here last week? This whole set of adjustables? We did. I didn't, I don't, I'm or no, it was rolled up. I take it back. Somebody okay. unrolled it yesterday. So y'all remember the video a while back from Expo? We had the. I'm gonna do this one. So you Is can that see the, the one that on. flips over. Yes. That's what I was gonna ask about. I know we've seen. So we talked about one. Take it and flip it. So your if you need the teeth or the little bit of an angle, you have it on yeah. this side. Or if you want it smooth, you have that side. I like the shape of the handles on those too, that wider profile. Yes. And they actually get, um, they're thin up top, so you can get in more places right. and thicker on the bottom. And if you want to hold it with your little holder, you got that too. But, that is nice right there. And as you said, they're standard and metric. They yep. can be both. We call that a Mississippi <laughs> metric right there. <laughs> but Mississippi hey. metric. Anyways. No, you're doing great. You keep going. Oh. Yeah, keep going. Well, I'll hang back here. <laughs> but let me see. What was that called that we were showing? You were showing me how to do it. Uh, oh, grab it. It's a. Uh, um, right here. This long white box. So if I started taking again, this would be something that I would have to have. Um, yeah. Y'all are probably going to laugh, but any guess on what that might be? Look at that <laughs> box. Well, I'm gonna say it's to put stretch belts on. That would be incorrect. Okay. So this is a tool, like I said, if I was gonna do it, I'd have to have this again. So you actually unscrew this screw here and this adjusts out. These are actually lasers here. So you put this on and it's actually lasers. a laser. And the reason, you can see there. Yeah. So for old people like us, when we get down to put the lift arms underneath the vehicle, Oh. And you have to do the front and then go to the back. Yeah, you don't have to go back three times. That's piece. right. This one, you get on one of them, you adjust it, and then you reach up there with this tool. Of course, when you adjust it out, it's going to actually be able to grab it and everything. But when you adjust it out, you're able to push it, and this makes sure with the lasers on the vehicle, hey, it's, it's right where it needs hit. to be. I'll now, be, I would damn. still take time to maybe just verify after yeah. I hit the button, because I was one of those that I'm going to look. I'm gonna get down and look again, and then when I raise it up a little bit, I'm gonna push That's down. That's what the tire. I do. I, I raise it up to about the tires are off the ground a little bit, and then I go to the back. Yeah. I shove it down. I've seen way too many video, uh, videos where they have failed, so um, definitely with me getting older and my knees getting older, um, I would I would probably use one of these a lot more. Well, see, uh, when you get old and fat like <laughs> I am, what I do, this is this is bad, but it's true. This is what I do. 
I take my creeper, like on the driver's side, oh, I usually yeah. start on the driver's wheel. I'll drop my creeper, I'll lay my fat butt down, I'll swing that arm over and I'll, yeah, that looks like it's gonna hit. And then I'll go to the backside. I don't get up. <laughs> no, I pedal like a walrus back there. <laughs> That's what I do, all the way around the truck. And then when I get done, I climb my fat butt up where I can just reach over and hit the button. Hit the button. And then I let it go up and hope I don't have to go back four more times. That's right. Well, That's and, and some of them you are quicker than others. I know being a dealership technician, when we were racking basically the same ones over and over and over, you get really good at, at being able to push it with your foot and go, yeah, that's pretty close, and you just take yeah. a look. Um, again, you're gonna check several different times, but um, anytime them used cars would roll in and you're not used to lifting them up, it's like, dang, where's the best place for this to go? <laughs> so I can see this coming in handy. It's not something that a young tech's probably gonna be interested in, because they're gonna be like, oh, I don't like that. I'm yeah. just gonna jump up right quick and run back there. Absolutely. For that older guy that takes a little while, they're definitely um, interested in something like that just to make it easier. So what kind of batteries does it take? It was little watch batteries yeah. is what you oh, said. Gosh, yeah, the little that old. sucks. Um, things are so expensive. I haven't ever really bought Those any. guys need to fix that where it'll work with a nine volt or. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Something else. Because oh. those watch, because you know what I'm going to do? The first time I use it, I'm going to cut it off. By the <laughs> third time I use it, I'm going to forget to turn it off. But yeah. That's, that's the way it works. I can see that. <laughs> I would do that. I remember it the first time, but after about the third time, you know, it is what it is. That is a great idea, though. So, I like it. It looks like the part number is 962. Um, I'm sure there's a prefix that we're going to have to enter in front of that. Let me just see. Right here. So, what do they call it? I want to see what they call it on the box. A lift alignment tool. Okay. Cool. Self-explanatory. Nice. I like it. And hopefully that mic got all that because that was a really good, uh, <laughs> really good cool tool right there. See, I can always switch it over. It'll be all, all those right. young boys, they don't realize what's coming. No. I know after we, we finally got the shop moved. And that happened uh, Sunday night about 11 p.m. And I'm going to tell you, this fat boy was tired and hurting. After you've been in a building 10 years, you don't remember how much stuff you can accumulate over oh, 10 yeah. years of time. I can tell you that a basement that you don't use can accumulate some stuff. <laughs> well, I can tell you, we... That poor dumpster, we had some dumpster divers too. Oh. Like what's crazy is, it actually helped me out though. Like I didn't care, right? I'm throwing it away anyway. But we would have that dumpster overflowing. The next morning I would come here, they'd have it halfway down. Like half of it would be gone. So I was able to, cause I called the, the garbage company people and I told them, I said, look, I'm gonna need about three dumps this week. We're moving. And the guy's like, okay, fine. So he scheduled it like on a Monday a Wednesday and a Friday. And our normal day was Wednesday, so actually it was like just two extra dumps. So uh, they really helped me out because we wouldn't have been able to chunk a lot of the stuff that we got rid of. Well, but you would not believe the Matco cases, the Snap-on cases, the Alltail Milwaukee, you know, those hard plastic boxes. It was a ton of them things that I threw yes. away. Because if you remember when you go in the, the big shop, I had the office and it was floored. The whole top of that thing was boxes. I kept it, you know, I kept all my boxes. Like all the macho box. If it come in a box, that's where it went. And it was a lot. Well, you never know boxes. when you're going to need that box. A lot of boxes. <laughs> so. I was glad to get it all moved. So now my new shop, everything was perfectly organized and clean. Everything had its own little place. And now it's about three quarters of it is chaos right now. So that's gonna take me forever to get all that organized back together again. Just in time for football this weekend. I know it. So I, the, when you ask your distributor about this, um, 
that part number is actually going to be uh, MATH962. Okay. Um, because if you just tell them 962, it will not pull up. But MATH962. So. Good enough. Well, I was hoping y'all had some of that pink stuff on here today. We were supposed to have had some of the shirts. Of uh, we were supposed to have some of the socks. Uh, she touched on it a little bit. Um, you know, uh, not just super happy about it. Uh, I do understand that uh, it sold out really quick. And it did get brought up at one of the meetings uh, that, hey, we, we need more. Um, we need more when it comes time for right. the tools for the calls or something like that. Uh, and I think Maco uh, is going to start that. They did say that uh, we have almost doubled the pink stuff that we've that we've sold over a year's time, and we mm -hmm. still sold out. Uh, I think since COVID, when everybody orders now, uh, especially the distributors that had a really hard time getting the product, um, they definitely order a bunch right off the bat. Um, but that's to be expected. Um, so. Hopefully we can make some changes this year um, because like she said, we had some of the pink toolboxes ordered. Uh, we had some of the pink socks ordered. Uh, and I'm just hoping that instead of canceling the back orders, I'm hoping that we can, we can fill them. Field. Yeah. Well, you guys aren't the only one. Uh, Snap-on come yesterday and he's, he's in the same boat. Yeah. You know, with the pink stuff. So and it's not, I, you know, it's not just Matt Coe. Uh, it, it's a, it's a constant problem because the way the i don't want to get just too far into it but the way the economy is nobody wants to be stuck with a bunch of inventory that ain't going to move yeah um so you have the way companies make it work if you don't if you don't know um is you have forecasters that try to go off of what last year's numbers are mm -hmm. and and it really takes some feedback from the distributors was these a hard sell or was this an easy sell and then they try to either um if it was easy sell, they try to raise the numbers up, and and it's it's basically like sports betting. You're either going to hit it or you right. ain't, and you're not. You're going to miss it more than you hit it. Well, I'm I'm not the sharpest tack in the box by no means, but if I knew this October was going to be when I was going to release the pink stuff right. for sale on the trucks, yeah, and it took me three months to get it in, <laughs> yeah, five months ahead of that time, yeah. So you know, April, March. Yeah, I would send out a thing to all my dealers and say, "This is the pink stuff we're having. Here's what your cost is. What do you want to order?" And then pre-order it in March. So that's whatever. actually what got brought up in the meet meeting, as um, one of the distributors uh, had said, "You know, let's let's make it to where we we're not having to rely on a forecast yeah. so much." Now you can't do that with everything. Sure. Um, but the pink stuff, the, the reason that, that, like I said, I'm not by any means happy about it, um, especially when it goes for a good cause. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's just a no tool and we fall short and the only people it hurts is us, okay, I get it. But when we're selling it and, and, and it's donating some, we need to make sure we have enough. So. Well, I mean, pre-selling is not going to hurt anything. Right. Like, you know yep. your customers better than Matco knows your customers. And yeah. you know what shops would or wouldn't. Because I'm sure there's some that won't have pink just because it's pink. Right? Yeah, some people don't care what the cause yeah. is. They're not going to own pink. And that's just like purple. Some some people yeah. won't touch the purple. Um, but they uh, they seem to have really listened. And, and I think that next year it'll be a little different. But like I said, we're just hoping that they'll... Well, then not... at that point, you have nobody to blame, right? Like right. if you don't order it in that, March or April, it. like, hey, it's your own fault. You know. Yeah, and sometimes that's what we need. We, you know, and plus you can tell your guys, right? Like if if yeah. you got a guy that bought pink stuff last year, you can be like, "Hey, man, we got this coming out. Yeah, it's gonna be here in October. Do you want one?" Yeah, because I don't think we even knew about what was gonna be available. Um, we we got the flyer like a two weeks early, and uh, that's I mean, that's my thing. And I and um, Maco has listened. Like I said. Um, it, it's not it's not good when you run out before the flyers handed out yeah um but i think that i, I think that there's some corrections going in place to fix that mm -hmm. uh, we just have to wait and see what those corrections are um 
which there is processes that they, they work through. I've mentioned before MDAC, MDAC meets. Um, they tell them some of the problems, and then um, MACO uh, responds to what that, how they'll fix it if it can be fixed. And uh, I think that that I think that the system's going to work. Uh, it's it's not good to run out. I'm by no means am I taking up yeah. for anybody, um, but we're definitely going to find out. We still got uh, what day are we on? Reports. Yeah, so we still got 26 days. So. Yeah. Maybe we'll get some stuff in and it won't get lost. There you uh, go. Because we did have a UPS package lost again, so. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, we got somebody else's just randomly that we knew, so we returned theirs, but they didn't get ours, so I don't know where it's at. But it's our hoodies, too. Yeah. And we got everybody yeah. wanting. That sucks. Yeah, it's the new hoodies that we got. We got extra large, but we don't have large. <clears throat> and, of course, everybody's asking for large right now, so. Yeah. Man, that sucks. That was really nice too. With the puffed out logo. God, that would suck to lose a whole case of hoodies. Well, that's the thing. And the problem with the hoodies, um, you brought up pre order. Those are strictly pre order. Yeah. So we pre ordered those in what, February? Mm -hmm. It's either February or the next meeting. And so if they don't get found, there is no finding, there is no getting more. They're just gone. And of course, you relay that to your shipping company, and they're like, "We'll give you a credit." It's like, that that, that, yeah, that they don't that don't help all the money that I lose right. from the sales that I need for right now. Right. Well, not just sales, but you know, you, we've got people who every year buy they them. buy a hoodie. That's yeah. their thing. They want a hoodie, and mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've been asked three times, if not four, a day. You know, is my hoodie here? No, it's, <laughs> it's not here. Um, but then we got some jackets in too. Um, it's way too early for jacket weather, but um, we're still missing some of them so as well. With this color, I'm yeah, sure they went back to that. Yeah, then the the other one was just all silver, wasn't it? Yeah, and the hood can come off too. Really? Yeah. So if you don't like the hood on there, you just pop. That's it off. really nice. So that's the thing with jackets. If you mess up and you pick the wrong way to go, somebody's going to want a hood, or somebody don't want a hood, or something right. like that. Um, so I like when they go with the ones that mm -hmm. are detachable. I uh, like that way better. Yeah. With the colored emblem than the. Yeah, I'm not. I I don't want it all one color. I'd like I'd like to to stand out. Yeah. But cool. A lot of cool stuff to look forward to. Anyway. All right. Well, guys, it is Friday. Y'all made it through another week. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger. That button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.